Steel Day in France, the national uh, day of independence. Australian authorities are uh, fighting a large fire in the city of Melbourne. Uh, they've advised residents in about 100 plus homes to evacuate. The huge fire is sending hazardous smoke across the city. Uh, the fire has occurred at a recycling factory in Coolaroo to the uh, northern part of Melbourne. Uh, smoke is seen from as uh, far as nine miles away, ashes uh, being spread about nine miles away as well. Uh, the Metropolitan uh, Fire Commander said that the blaze is being fueled by thousands of tons of plastic, cardboard, and paper. And it's very difficult for uh, fire brigades to get to the site. Um, it apparently is the third fire this year at the facility. There have been a host of auto recalls today. Fiat Chrysler said that it's recalling 1.3 million vehicles worldwide in two separate recalls for potential fire risks and inadvertent airbag deployments. About 770,000 SUVs <coughs> excuse me, are being recalled because of a wiring issue that could lead to the inadvertent deployment of an airbag. And they're also recalling 565,000 vehicles to replace their alternators because of fire, work, uh, fire risks. Honda is also recalling about 1.2 million Accords, their most popular selling car, because a battery sensor can short out and potentially cause a fire. The company said that sensors on a negative terminal on the battery are not properly sealed from moisture. And as a result, road salt can get in and cause corrosion and thus produce an electric sh short. According to the uh, head of the Metropolitan Police in London, police have now prevented five terror plots from being carried out in the United Kingdom over the last 90 days. Um, the uh, commissioner said that some of the plots that they foiled were very close to an attack, with some being within minutes of uh, having been carried out. Four terror attacks, of course, have taken place in the UK this year alone, three of them in London. Uh, the uh, police director said that a very large number of plots have been foiled over the past few years. She said it's been well into the teens in the past few years, and so far as foil plots go, she said they uh, definitely need more funding and more police officers working with local communities to provide information. The big reinsurance company Tokyo Millennium Re has appointed Brian Secret as the company's new chief underwriting officer. Uh, the interesting thing is that Secret comes from Lloyd's of London, where he works for the actual uh, corporation of Lloyd's. He had been the head of business and subsequently was the interim head of underwriting performance. Before he came to Lloyd's, he had positions in the underwriting world, both at uh, Partner Re and also at Swiss Re. An Air Canada plane, a passenger liner itself, with 140 people on board, came within 100 feet of crashing into two of four jetliners lined up for takeoff at San Francisco International Airport last week. Um, sources are now providing some information as to how close the Air Canada plane came to causing what could have been one of the worst disasters in aviation history. Instead of lining up to land on the runway, the incoming uh, Air Canada jet, which was an Airbus A320, um, mistakenly descended toward a parallel taxiway just to the right of uh, where four other airliners were idling in the darkness. Taxiways are airport equivalents of feeder roads that planes use to roll between runways and terminals. Air Canada Flight 759 had already traveled a quarter of a mile over the taxiway intending to land uh, before boarding the takeoff. Just before uh, it almost landed, it was about 100 feet over the first of the two jets waiting on the taxiway, 200 feet over the third jet, and then flew 300 feet over the fourth jet uh, before it then realized what was going on and then circled around and landed. An aviation consultant said this was very close to a catastrophic event. Of course, uh, ground uh, crashes are the worst kind of thing. Uh, the uh, highest death toll in an aviation accident occurred in 1977 on the Canary Islands when two 747s collided into each other on the runway in Tenerife, killing 583 people. According to analysts, what's so unusual about this one is that the airplanes could actually see each other, and they still got this close. 
in an audio posted on the internet, which records uh, flight communications, the Air Canada pilot says, quote, he sees some lights on the runway, apparently referring to the planes waiting on the taxiway. Uh, according to uh, reports, the plane at that point was less than a mile away from the taxiway. Uh, the controller assured the pilot that there was no one on the runway. Seconds later, another voice, apparently coming from uh, one of the pilots in one of the planes on the taxiway, said, what's this guy doing? He's on the taxiway. Only at that point did the controller in the uh, tower wake up and direct the Air Canada plane to go around. It seems to me as if somebody in the tower was not playing, paying complete attention. In a study funded by the Commonwealth Fund, which is a U.S. think tank looking at health systems around the world, some surprising results occurred. The United Kingdom's National Health Service was ranked the number one health system in a comparison of 11 countries. And uh, the United States health system came out last. Uh, this is the second year in a row that the UK's National Health Service has uh, finished top. Uh, here are the rankings. The UK, Australia, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, Germany, Canada, France, and uh, the United States is at number 11. Um, the National Health Service's director said the outstanding results are a testament to our dedicated staff. Of course, in the United States, the health care system continues to become uh, more murky as Republicans in the Senate struggle to produce a bill that 51 of them can agree to. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in one day.